Hi guys, my name is David, I'm 26 years old, I'm from the west of Ireland, I'm a PT, online coach, bodybuilder kind of slash fitness enthusiast, and I specialize in helping people get into the best shape of their lives and keep it, because I know what it feels like to get into the best shape of your life and lose it, and that is a shitty feeling. I'm finally in a place where I'm actually happy with how I look day to day, and that's a nice place to be. So I wanna share everything I've learned over the last 13 years of lifting eight years of coaching and being a PT, both in person and online. And I've also worked with a lot of mentors, a lot of smarter people than me. I don't consider myself that smart. I've worked with very smart people. And I wanna share all of the education I've learned, all the experience I've gained. I wanna share that with you so you can get into the best shape of your life and keep it. I'm not used to doing longer form content. I was years ago, back when I was documenting my own prep series, as a bodybuilder slash men's physique competitor, but I stopped and in the last few years, I've just been doing short form content like Reels, TikToks, YouTube Shorts, but being honest, you can't beat long form YouTube content. I love YouTube. I love watching other fitness content. I love watching the fitness YouTubers. I believe it's the home of fitness and I've been wanting to return to YouTube for so long, but I didn't do it and I was talking, it was only, what made me do this recently was, one, my younger brother is actually starting a YouTube channel, so I will share that with you when that's up. And the first video I put out this year in short form on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok, I was talking about the perfectionist mindset and how it holds people back because they're either waiting for the perfect time, the perfect plan, um, but that just doesn't exist. And if you're waiting for that, you'll be waiting forever. And I was, I was here thinking, God, I've wanted to do YouTube for so long and I haven't because I'm waiting for the perfect moment. So I myself, I was being a hypocrite. So with all that being said, I've started. This video is probably gonna be a little rough, but we're, we'll get into a training session now. And yeah, I just wanted to introduce myself. You can expect weekly videos. And within these videos, you should be able to take something away that will benefit you, your training, your lifestyle. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be doing this. This is really cool. I've been waiting to do this for a long time. So I hope you enjoy today's video and the videos to come. Thank you. Woo! That is my first time performing three sets of eight with 120 kilos on the bench. I'm very pleased with that. The form was pretty good, could be better. I have big plans for the bench press this year. I plan on surpassing my one rep max, which is 150 kilos. I got late last year and I wanna beat that. I wanna get 150 for reps. And I've, I of course wanna lift heavier. I wanna lift 160, 170. I don't know, I'd love to say 180, I don't know, is that delusional? That's an extra 30 kilos. Might be a bit delusional, but we'll see how the year goes. Um, but definitely 170, I have my sights on for a one rep max, and 150, I wanna be able to rep that out for 
a set of three to five, that would be pretty cool. Um, but for now, I'm sticking with a four to six. Uh, but for now, I'm sticking with a six to eight rep range for the next four weeks. I'll build my strength within that rep range. It's more of a functional hypertrophy rep range. Then the next phase, I'm gonna go into the five rep zone. And the phase after that, probably as low as three, three reps, maybe three to five. We'll see how it goes. Very recently, I hit a new PR on the dumbbell shoulder press. I got 45 for four reps, which I couldn't believe. I got that last week. So today, I'd be happy with five reps on this weight, and then we'll drop down to a lighter weight, a lighter weight depending on how this set goes. All right, time to get in the zone. Yikes, that was a push. So second side of shoulder press, we're back down to 30s. It's a drastic drop, it's a drastic drop, going from 45 to 30, but our dumbbells go from 30 to 45. So you use what you got. You might be wondering, what's the point of doing 45s for four reps? Is that ego lifting? Is that not too heavy? Well, I find tremendous benefit in lifting a heavier weight because it excites your nervous system and a weight that you previously would have found moderate or heavy will now feel a lot lighter because you did a heavier set with lower reps. And plus it serves as a, as a reference point. It's good to know where you're at and it's a nice little confidence boost. It massages the ego a little bit and that's always fun too. You have to remember, the gym, there should always be rhyme or reason to what you're doing, but sometimes that reason is just because it's fun and it's fun to lift heavy shit. So now we're going back down to 30. I'm expecting a minimum of 12 reps. Let's get it. First time, that's my first time getting 15 reps with 30 kilos. Woo! Worth the fatigue. Hope you guys are enjoying the workout so far. That is bench, pull ups, single arm row, and shoulder press done. That is the main work done. I superset those, so my bench is superset with pull ups, my shoulder press is superset with the um, single arm row. God, I'm out of breath. I need to get back doing cardio. I love doing supersets with a push and a pull. They complement each other really well. And plus I get my session done faster because time is of the essence during my day to day. I have a lot of clients, I have a lot of responsibilities. So I also need to be time efficient with my sessions too. But to end the session, I'm gonna end with lateral raise work and shrugs. And that's the session done. 
And yeah, that was a, it's been a solid upper body session so far today. Alright, so you're going to get to see the business. Oh, baby. Pull this out first. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Let's do this right. Without burning ourselves. But most importantly, without dropping the fucking shepherd's bag. Doesn't she look beautiful? Oh, yeah. Oh. Bye, baby. And I think I decided today that I'm going to go forward with a bit of a bulk, so I'm going to document that. But right now, we are going to tuck into this, and I'll see you in the next video. Oi. <laughs> so we decided not to leave you guys hanging. A bit of a tease, just showing you the shepherd's pie, not showing you all the goodness that's inside. You fucked up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's the juice. There's the protein. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's all you're getting. Let's eat.